turning to Spotsylvania County now, where the community is grappling with a tragedy. 28-year-old Brandon Nutter was killed in an industrial waste compactor last Thursday, and according to the sheriff, it was his third week on the job. In a WUSA 9 exclusive, Jess Arnold spoke with his fiance's mother, and she joins us in studio to share more about this young man's life. Jess, just a tragedy. Good morning. Yeah, terrible. Good morning. Brandon Nutter's family says before this, he had actually worked at Washington Gas for almost a decade, always keeping up with safety trainings. He recently took a job at the Solid Waste Collections Division in Spotsylvania County as a heavy equipment mechanic to be closer to home with his fiance. They were supposed to get married next year. Now, as officials investigate what happened, Brandon's family wants to remember the good times and share with you a bit of his legacy. Work and have fun. <laughs> Party on. <laughs> Work hard, have fun, party hard. That was 28-year-old Brandon Nutter's motto. He truly just lived life and he was just, the minute you met him, you loved him. That certainly happened to his fiance, Chelsea Manning. She asked her mom, Sherry Weaver, to speak for her. Their first date, she knew and he knew. And it was just a love that, it was unbelievable to just see. Sherry says Brandon was originally from Alexandria, but had moved south and recently bought a home on Lake Anna with Chelsea. Let me just read it to you in Chelsea's words. Brandon was the most amazing human. He is the love of my life. He brought me into a world of adventure. We built a life in a short time, but it felt like a lifetime. Sherry says he loved their dogs and mountain biking and the lake. So as the sun sets on another day, they're clinging to memories. So grateful to him that he loved my daughter the way he did. He was just a great guy. Now the community is rallying around Chelsea and Brandon's families. A food truck has joined forces with other local businesses to hold an event on Monday with all of the proceeds going to his fiance, Chelsea. Chelsea's mom says that Brandon was her sole supporter. We will have that event information and all that donation info for Chelsea online at WUSA9.com. Back to you. Jess, thank you very much. Very moving. Thank you.